We applied back in uh, 2021 and we had a site visit in October 21 and Karen and Phelan came and uh, they were very satisfied with our plans so they okayed our first pond so we were thrilled with that but they also okayed a mini orchard for us. We got eight, we got the granted for eight lovely apple trees and the beauty of it, and this was a learning curve for us, that they're from seed savers, which is our own national apples. So it was fantastic to go down there to collect them in January. The pond itself was very successful because we did actually a test on it there for a pond demonstration just a few weeks ago. So there was about 30 different species, which we were thrilled with. So our members loved that and they loved seeing the flowers and everything. We had ideas of having an orchard and ponds, but it's Burden Bureau that gave us the kickstart, you know, with their grants. And when Karen and now yourself has come, it's not just the grants, it's the enthusiasm from me, you know, in encouraging us. And encouragement is very important. So that's why, you know, we feel good about having yourself and Phelan calling every so often you know, giving us little tips here. And in fairness, you compliment us now and again, <laughs> which is very good. Where we're sitting now, this is a lovely little quiet spot where you're here, nature, the birds, where members like just we're, like what we're doing now can chat together, can discuss about the day-to-day -day problems, maybe health issues, maybe tell an odd lie, tell an odd story. <laughs> Never. <laughs> but anyway, the balance is that you're hearing the wildlife, we're creating a space both for our members and for biodiversity. So it's been very successful so far. We have a community gardens, we have two of them, and we saw everything and anything. Carrots, any vegetable you named, even pumpkins, pumpkins. you've seen a mass of pumpkins. So they're shared out between our members, but the beauty of it Outside of all the wildlife and our members enjoying it, I've noticed now in weekends that when I come in and bring in my grandchild, other people are bringing their grandchildren and members of their family in. So, you know, it's not just the members, even though it started out that way, uh, you know, for members and the wildlife to be looked after. But now it's extending out to communities. You have also have, I've seen a few bird uh, nest boxes and bat boxes. Yes, just, uh, just behind us here now, you'll see little bird boxes. We have bird boxes all over the places. We have bat boxes. And it was very timely, it was only in the last two weeks, the biodiversity officer for the first time visited. So I showed him around and he was thrilled with the amount of work in the short period of time, the three years. We put down the pond and we were thrilled with it, but we wanted to have an island feature. So next thing, you know, to make that happen, we applied the following year for another pond to wrap around it, to create that island. So not alone were we able to put down the second pond, but we had a liner big enough for our third pond. One of the big aspects that we really are proud of is with Untashka, you know, with yourselves. They organized a pond workshop and over 40 people turned up. It was absolutely brilliant and different people from all walks of life were here and enjoyed it. So now we are designated as one of just six sites in the whole country as a demonstration site for ponds. So we're chuffed with that. Wow. But our thoughts and ideas for the future. I'd say that stretch to the moon and back. But if we get some of them done, so be it. And hopefully we'll pass on to the next generation a better place and a more relaxing place, both for nature and for our members. Well, thank you so much. We're so proud to have the men shed a part of the Hairs Corner project. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Give each other a hug. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. No, I'm serious. The that encouragement, it, it, it does make a difference.